Ciao, benvenuti tutti, how are you loves? Welcome. It is fabulous. Sunday evening, how are you sweethearts? Welcome. I'm all shiny tonight. Okay, tell me, honestly, I'm using my new ring light. Does it make a difference? Is it a difference? Can you tell a difference? <laughs> I'm all illuminated and glowy, so let me know if you can see a big difference in this ring light. So there's three different settings. I have it on sort of a medium one, but let me know if it makes a big difference. I'm sort of having, trying new things out um, since I have it on a different tripod. So let me know if this is okay, uh, if it needs to go higher, what they look like, what it looks like. So just let me know, sweethearts. Fabulous. So let's get going on our fantastic spaghetti aglio olio with kale. I know, I know it's not traditional, but you know what? We're changing it up. Sorry, my hair is falling around my massive earrings. I had to be all sparkly tonight. You know, it's the holidays, let's shine it up. Look, there we go. My fabulous blossom box earrings, aren't these great from India? Gorgeous. So how are you all loves? Let me know if you're here, if you're joining us this evening. I hope you're all having a fabulous day. It was gorgeous out, it was about 54 degrees. Went on a lot of walks today because what I've heard, there's a huge blizzard coming. <laughs> Fabuloso. So, be stuck inside. We are stuck inside, aren't we? But now we have this excuse. No, I'm kidding. So there it is, sweethearts. Hi, hi, lovies. Let me know if you're here. So we're going to start our beautiful aglio olio. Here we go, lovies. I have my induction burner here. I'm just going to show you, you know, here. Can you see how I'm going to chop the garlic? Hi, Amy. How are you, sweetheart? Beautiful, Amy. Yes, sweetheart. How are you, love? Fabulous, Diva. I know you have a lot of Miss Vinick's fabulous um, headbands and her stunning berets. We'll just wait for it, kids, because you know that beret that I was wearing, my fabulous blue one? Well, <laughs> there's more colors coming on the way. Prepare yourselves, it's gonna be fabulous. Hi, Erica, hi, are you, sweetheart? Hola. Thank you, sweetheart, isn't this gorgeous? That graphite headband, love it. Love the headbands, love it, fabulous. Um, so we're gonna make a beautiful aglio olio, which is garlic and olive oil with a little pepperoncino. Hi, Allie, hi, sweethearts. How are you tonight, lovies? Welcome. So, hi, sweetheart. So we're going to make aglio olio, which is a traditional, beautiful pasta dish, very simple. This is what they would eat often at midnight, the mezzanotte, the pasta dish at mezzanotte. And this is uh, created in Napoli, in Naples. It can be as spicy as you want. You don't have to make it spicy. You could do it with parmigiano, pecorino, but you have to have some beautiful garlic. So I'm gonna do about five cloves. It's usually a clove per person. Uh, so this would be quite garlicky because I'm not eating it at this hour. <laughs> I don't think so. Dr. Lars will have some. So I'm just going to crush up some garlic. You can slice it um, if you'd like, if you like it really thinly sliced. I sort of tend to like it a little bit more crushed and uh, chopped up finely. I have some beautiful pepperoncino here. My fabulous kale. Now this is curly kale. Hi Mo, how are you sweetheart? I hope you're feeling better. Much love, lovey. Sending all my love. Um, this is some gorgeous, this is a beautiful um, curly kale. It's not the La Senado, uh kale. That was harder to find now, but this is organic kale. It's already come chopped. Uh, they said in the actual recipe that we could blanch this first, but it's so beautiful and thin. I thought I'm just gonna saute it right in the pan so we don't have all these steps. So I have the water behind me, as you see in my Le Creuset pan. I'm gonna try something different. You know, it's really big to have all the pasta water. Huge buckets of it that take forever to boil. Well, now they're saying, don't use as much water when you do the pasta. So, hi, Maestro, how are you, sweetheart? Maestro Gregory, welcome. So I have this back here. It's not that big, but it's salted and I have the water. It's gonna to come to a boil and I'm gonna put my pasta in it. So it just covers it. Then it's gonna make the water much more gluten-y. I'm gonna have that really beautiful pasta water that you need in this dish. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna try an experiment and I'm going to try to do it with less water. That's what I've heard, that's what I've been reading. You know, the Italians may be like, oh no, you need 70 quarts, which I always did before, but it takes forever to it to boil. So here we go. I have it behind me, we're gonna try it out. So I may not look at you right now because I've gotta crush my garlic and I need to chop it. Chop it up. Um, just gonna chop it on the cutting board very fine. That's what we're gonna do, sweethearts. Just, I'm not the best chopper in the world, you know. I mean, I can chop pretty well, but you know, when I'm live, sometimes it's tricky. So there we go, I'm just gonna chop it finely, do this kind of chop. Extra starchy water, that's right, sweetheart, my sister knows. Extra starchy water for this dish. This dish is simple, it's just olive oil, the garlic, 
garlic, peperoncino, the kale in this sense, in this case, some parmigiano reggiano, and a little bit of pecorino. You could also put lemon zest. I was reading a lot of recipes. There are some Italians that put mushrooms in it, but we won't want to do that, will we? I know I get all the flack for my mushroom recipes. <laughs> but I love shrooms, so I'm going to keep going for those that you love mushrooms. So they are sweethearts. I think my mother and my auntie Lynn are watching. Are you watching, loveys? There we go. So I'm just chopping up my garlic here, sweethearts. And I'm going to put it in my pan soon. You'll see. I just wanted to get all this taken care of first. Then we're going to put it in with the beautiful olive oil. Then we're going to put the kale in. It's going to be fabulous. And the pasta water. I just have to get my gorgeous induction burner going. So how are all you loves? I have an extra special surprise that's coming up soon. Since we're going to be on winter break, we're going to have a lot of time. So I'm going to be doing a lot of videos coming up. Um, I'm going to be doing a little bit different type of videos. I'm going to try to do some videos for actually for YouTube, uh, not Facebook Lives. I'm going to try to film them with one camera here and one camera over here. I know my friend Peter in uh, Latvia, he's fabulous. He's a voiceover artist and he's an astounding editor. He made the most brilliant little promo for me. Now it has this great, hi mama, hi Annie Lynn. It has this amazing um, sort of clips of us from the, the past episodes. And he put in this really great Italian song, which I know once I put it on Facebook, the copyright, you know, it'll just be, it'll be gone. So what I'm gonna do is that when I finish this, I'm gonna send it each and individually to you in a Facebook messenger um, message. So that's what I'm gonna do so you can actually see you are beautiful. Who cares what you're cooking? <laughs> you're so sweet, Christina. How are you, love? Ciao, Michael. How are you, sweetheart? I saw your gorgeous pictures, Michael, of New York and your gorgeous apartment. Beautiful. I know I don't have a real festive. I have lights up, but right here it's hard to get real festive and Christmassy. So because the blizzard's coming or some snow, we're going to get some really great footage because I'm going to do this 12 days of Christmas. So I would like to do 12 days of Christmas. It'll be finished by January 6th, by the Epiphany. 12 days of Christmas, um, you know, like on the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. So that's the first one, and I'm going to do panettone pear bread pudding with a caramel sauce. It's gonna be fantastic. So that's my first one, but I'm gonna to try to do it in a video form, not the live format of Facebook. I'm gonna to try to do it in a video and have it edited. We'll see what happens. I mean, I love this sort of, um, you know, this venue of doing it live as a, to an audience. I think that's fantastic. I mean, that's where I really just come alive. So t doing the videos, I'll be speaking to the camera. So it's a whole new thing. I'm just gonna try it out, but watch for the little Christmas promo that I'm gonna to send to you guys. That headband is glitzy holiday popper up, piazzi enough, moi, can't wait for the snow. I know, right? It's going to be fabulous. So we're going to get all these snow uh, videos. So let me get to it, loves, because you know I can just sit here chatting for days. I'm going to use my beautiful cast iron skilly, because why not? I'm going to um, take this off the lock, <laughs> and we're going to start it. Here we go, loves, and we're going to get this going with some gorgeous olive oil. Thank you, isn't this, you know, by Vinick, this headband is fabulous. She is just the most amazing designer. Now I'm gonna put a good quarter of a cup of extra virgin olive oil in here, sweethearts. This is a great Sicilian olive oil from, um, this is from actually from Sicily, and this is from Aldi. It's a beautiful Sicilian olive oil, so glog it down in there. Great one from Aldi, fabulous. Love Aldi, if I can't get to Italy, get to Aldi. So, then I have my beautiful garlic. We're not going to do it too high, sweethearts, because that'll burn in six seconds. We don't want to burn. We don't want to burn. I know it's hard to see. I'm all in black, the black, and then now I have the black pan. <laughs> so, I hope you hopefully you can see it, loves. So, I'm going to put this garlic in, loveys. We're just going to start this nice and slow, low and slow. We then We will then add, of course, a little pasta water. I have it boiling. I have it coming to the boil back here behind me, this small amount. I have a nice pound of just spaghetti, beautiful, simple spaghetti, boom, that's the traditional, I love how one goes right in, <laughs> there it is, so just waiting this for this to come to the boil, I want to just saute this lightly, this is only going to be quite low, sweethearts, because I want this low and slow for a few minutes, hi Joseph, how are you, sweetheart, welcome, so how's the ring light, kids, is it good, is this lighting good, just wanting to check, because I just got this great ring light, 
that a lot of people are using, I know, and I think it's fantastic. So let me know if you like it. I'm gonna put a couple of pepperoncino in here. I don't like it crazy spicy, but then Dr. Lars will be having it, so it'll be fine. Just a few beautiful pepperoncino. Oh, it's a good one? Okay, Maestro Michael. Okay, so, okay, so it's a good ring light? Okay, fabulous, because there's all these different ones. Hi, Ava, how are you, sweetheart? Welcome. We're doing our beautiful aglio olio with pepperoncino with some kale. This was from, I believe, Bon Appetit. I love some of the recipes, they're great. And I love kale. Happy Sunday, sweetheart. I love kale. And I had a whole bag of organic kale, so I thought, you know, here's this great recipe on a Sunday night. It's cozy. Um, Kelly said, try it on a lower setting. Lower setting, Kelly said. Okay, is it, I have a remote here. Isn't this fascinating? Since I don't have a camera crew, I have a remote. Let's see what happens, boobs. I'm gonna try to put it down. There it is, there's lower. How's that? That's two clicks lower, two clicks lower. I'm just gonna get this going, my beautiful garlic. If I burn it, I'll cry because I'm gonna just turn it down. It's gonna go way low, way low. The light's good? Okay, maestro, fabulous. Um, Cause it's sort of like a spotlight now. I have pretty good lighting in here, but this is good at night. This helps because often when I'm not doing the daytime ones, I'm doing the night lives, it's better. So we're just going to put this on low heat, loving. So you don't want this burned. Much better, Mo. Thank you, sweethearts. Love you. Um, so just low and slow with this garlic, guys. You do not want to burn this. This can go from regular to burned in two seconds. Boom, and it's black and that won't taste good. I may actually have to turn it off because you know, I'm getting my water to a nice boil and I'm gonna put it back there in a very small, shallow amount of water. So I'm gonna try something different. I'm doing the small amount of water, not the big Italian, lots of water. I'm doing it in a shallower pan just to see what happens because I've heard that is, is helpful. So I have this going. Hello, Maestro. Hello, Michael. How are you? Excellent lighting. Okay. The headband is everything, isn't it, guys? Prepare yourself, guys. I've ordered more berets. <laughs> I'm going to go crazy. I have a red beret coming, a white one, a mermaid one. It's going to be very and sparkle and everything. By Vinick, the genius designer in Los Angeles. She's really fantastic. Beautiful, beautiful clothing. Fantastic opera coats. I mean, just off the chain. Hi, Andrea. How are you, sweetheart? Beautiful Andrea Diva Goober. How are you, sweetheart? Oh, my God. How is Ziggy? She has the most beautiful golden retriever in the entire planet. Is beautiful Ziggy, my favorite puppy ever. I'm going to turn this way down, lovies, to about 400. Did you get a silver one? Her stuff is amazing. I actually got a silver, no, I didn't get a silver beret. I think they were sold out. <laughs> um, order the dress that you posted this week. Sweetheart, first of all, I couldn't get in that dress because actually Suzanne, the one who makes these, she said, um, <laughs> once that comes off that mannequin form, um, it, it wouldn't fit anybody. It's just one of those mannequin forms, you know, that's just not gonna fit anyone. But the design of that black dress, I mean, when I, I know it's in Paris and this, friend of mine on Facebook posts these astounding gowns that, you know, you just have to not eat yourself, uh, not eat for a week, not for a week, no, for a year, and get in there. Hello, Nadia. How are you, sweetheart? Welcome. Welcome, love. So I have this on very low heat, my loves. My water is boiling. I'm going to put this in the shallow. See the shallow? It's not a big one. I'm going to see how it's going to work. It'll fit. We, we pray that's going to work. I'm going for it. That's the first time I've done it like that. I'm a little nervous, but I'm going to try it. I'm gonna try it. I think it'll work. And that way, the um, the pasta water will be that much more gluten-y. Uh, you are gorgeous, darling. Thank you, Andrea. Give loves to Ziggy, my favorite golden retriever pup ever. So I have this very low, guys. Low and slow and slow, especially because I have the pasta, you know, going right now. So I have this in here, loves. I'm gonna try it out. They said to do it in a shallow pan. That's what Diva's doing. There it is. So I have this low and slow. I'm going to turn it down even more. And then it won't burn by the time the pasta's done. You know, it's all in timing, this is. So actually, I'm going to wait. I'm going to let this brown a little bit more. Then I'm going to put in the beautiful kale. This kale will cook up very quickly because it's organic. Cur it's curly kale. It's not the lacinato kale. But it's very, very finely chopped. Very finely chopped. So I think it'll be fine in this to just get it going once I put a little glug of pasta water in. My favorite part of today, watching my diva, you're so sweet, Cheryl. How are you, love? Hope you're feeling better, sweethearts. I know that you're making these gorgeous ornaments. Cheryl's so brilliant. She's these gorgeous quilted ornaments we've been watching on uh, Facebook. They're just stunning. So 
I'm just getting this going, buddies. See how this is working. We'll see how it works with the pasta like that. I'll let you know. It's an experiment. So have my beautiful garlic browning in my olive oil. Fabuloso. Then I'll have a little bit of, I may just add a little bit more oil because why not? Um, we'll add some pasta water. I have some beautiful parmigiano reggiano and I have some beautiful pecorino romano. I'm going to mix it because I love to do that. It's going to be great. Fabulous. So as I was saying, my friend Peter made this sort of compilation video with this Italian music in the background. And you know all of my expressions. I actually had to go through my videos from months ago during when we were in really lockdown when I did those 80 in a row and I went through all of them and just see what expression I had when I tasted something. <laughs> it was so hilarious. Oh yeah, that's what I said all the time. I was like, oh yeah. Well, he did it where he compiled the oh yeahs and it's so funny with this Italian, sort of that Italian mambo, that sort of Americano song, so funny. But I know as soon as I post it on Facebook, it'll get ripped out because I don't own the copyright to the song. Um, so I'm going to send it to each and every one of you personally in the Facebook Messenger. So don't think it's some sort of fake thing from me. When you get a video, it's a real one. And, I, and that's sort of my holiday, one of my holiday gifts to you guys. Because if I, I'd love to post it on Facebook, I'm just afraid they're gonna take the sound right off. So here we go, loves. Let's get this beautiful pasta worked around. This is a different way I'm doing it. You see it's a shallow pan, quite shallow, but I think it's gonna work. Just keep moving it around so it doesn't stick to the bottom. This is one of my sort of shallow Le Creuset pans. I love Le Creuset, you know, love it. So there it is. We're just gonna keep cooking that and then we're gonna take out our pasta water, put that in as well, and then get the beautiful kale going. I just don't want to overcook the garlic. That's the whole thing. So I'm gonna turn it up a little bit, get a little toastier. So there it is. So what are you guys doing for the holidays? Are you cooking anything special? I know everyone's really staying. We're staying here. We're not going anywhere. Actually, Christmas Day, we're going to drive down to Atlanta to pick up my mummy. We're gonna drive down in about, boom, straight shot. We'll, draw, we'll stop for gas, that's it. We're in double masses all the way. So what we'll do, and we'll pick her up and come back, but then we have all of, um, a lot of January off because it's our winter break from college. So I'm gonna be doing a ton of fabulous, funny videos, maybe one every day. I think that's what I'll do. We'll do a live every day. What the heck, right? Let's try it out, sweetheart. Okay, loveys. So we have our pasta boiling away. There we go. Yeah, I think this works, actually. I can see that this could work very well. And the water is nice and gluten-y, and it's gonna go in, and it's gonna create this beautiful, unctuous sauce with the kale. Let me put some of the kale in now, just to see what happens, because I really want to get it sort of getting going. Look, there we go. Look at all that beautiful kale in there. And this is gonna sop up the oil. Of course, it'll sop up the oil. Because um, I know she used a huge head of the kale. So we just want to get this going in here, sweethearts. And if, there, if there's a big stem, take it out, unless you want to eat it. But this is a good way to sort of just saute these beautiful bits of kale. You can always put in a little bit more garlic if you wish. She did it differently. She actually blanched it, and then she, she rinsed it, and then she squeezed it out so it was wet when it went in. I thought, well, there were a lot of people on the reviews that said, okay, I eliminated that step since they didn't have, they didn't blanch it at the same time. It was just a lot of extra work. So, you know what, guys? I'm going to try it this way. I'm going to try not blanching it first and not having it soaking wet. It's dry, so it's a little bit different. Hello, Charlie. How are you? I'm very well. Thank you, sweetheart. Nice to see you. Happy holidays. So, I'm just getting all of this together here, loves. Saute all this down. It's going to be a little different. It's going to be delicious. There we go. So let me check the pasta because there it is behind me. Here we go. Yeah, this works, guys. It's much less water, as you see. It's just covering the pasta, but it works. This works fine. So what we'll do is we can take a beautiful, big um, ladle of the beautiful pasta water here. That's quite, let's see how gluteny it is because I put it over to see it. Very gluteny. Hi, Paula. How are you, love? So we're going to take some of that water, and that's going to steam our kale here. Happy holidays, sweethearts. There we go. So we're steaming our kale. We're going to get all that beautiful and worked in there, loves. Get all that going in. And if you see it's melting down, just add a little bit more. And we can always add more pasta water. There it is. And then at the end, we'll add our beautiful cheese, our salt, our pepper, 
I'm going to add some salt now, loveys. It's very, we have a, quite a bit of cheese in this, you know, some parmigiano and pecorino. So some nice cracked black pepper, freshly cut black pepper. There it is, loveys. And just get this all worked in. This is going to be fantastic, guys. I can tell already. Fabulous. That smells so good. If you love kale, this is a great dish. Do you love kale? I know. It's been completely, probably overdone kale, but that's all right. I think it's a great dish. It's a great thing to use in pasta for salads. Um, it's great raw if you massage it, but I really love it cooked. I think it's fantastic cooked. It tastes delicious. So there it is. So let me check my pasta for a moment. Here we go. I'm just going to check a piece of it. It's still too hard, I think. Yeah, it's still too hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's still too much bite to it. Love kale. I know a lot of people love it. Mm, not yet. Oops. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. So we're sauteing this down, loveys. Mmm. This is getting good. This is going to be great. Mmm. -hmm. That's going to be fantastic. There we go. There it is. So we're just sauteing more of this down. And once it starts to wilt down more and more and more, add another handful if you wish. If you like the kale like that, go for it. Just cook it down. We can always add a little bit more water. The pasta water is key here. There we go. If there's some stems, just take them out. Here we go. I prefer the kale cooked, yes. Hi, Elizabeth, how are you? So do I, Maestro, I like it cooked. I quite like kale and the CSA has it right now. Ooh, that's fantastic, Elizabeth. Um, yes, try this out with the lacinato kale, the Tuscan kale. This is the curly kale that I, I get that's organic in a big bag that's organic and washed. I love that. So I'm just gonna put some of this in. There's the garlic, salt, pepper, simple dish. There we go, loveys. So now it's all melting down. It may take a little bit more pasta water from our pasta. And it's very gluten-y, as you see, because we didn't have a lot of water. So it's quite gluten-y, and so it'll create a very nice sauce because we're doing the pasta in a very small amount of water. It's just covering it, as you can see, just covering it. So that's what we're doing there. And that was sort of a trick that I've learned that, you know, everyone's saying put, you know, quarts and quarts of salted water. But now what I'm reading a lot is to do it in much less water and it'll cook exactly the same. Um, oops, uh, this time of year. Yeah, I have lost Noto in the fridge. Better use it before it rots. Yes, Allie, my sister, go for it. Use it up, Bowie. So here we go. We're just gonna saute all this down. If there's, I like the stems, uh, but if, they're, if you think they're a bit chewy for you or you don't like them, you can just take them out because once this all sort of soaks down, you'll see the stems, boom, they sort of just appear magically. Here we go, loveys. As I try to pick up a stem, here it is, stem. So if you don't like that part, even though it's where all the nutrition is, guys, love it. So you get a free facial, a free kale facial. <laughs> there it is. Um, since I haven't been able to have a facial in uh, forever, um, you can get it this way. Cook and get your facial. How much is the pasta in there? Half a pound? No, sweetheart, it's a whole um, pound. <laughs> Sorry, it's the black pepper squeaky. I just sneezed into the pasta. I know. No, it's a whole pound, sweethearts. But only Dr. Lars is eating this. We're all fine. <laughs> it's the black pepper. It came up and took it over. There it is. So I'm just going to check the pasta one more time. We want this very al dente, but this actually works, guys. This works quite well just to do it in that amount of water. It's quite good. So let me just check another piece or a few pieces. Here we go. We're close. i just drop it on the thing. Oh yeah, you had too much wine this evening, Elizabeth. Oh, I don't. I didn't have any wine. I don't usually drink too much. I should. Um, no, I'm kidding. So I'm just gonna take out the stems there. There we go, loves. Look how beautiful this is. Turn it down a touch. Add a touch more pasta water, and we're gonna be close. We're gonna be close, we heart. We're gonna be close. But look how beautiful that pasta water is because we don't have a lot of it. Oh my God! I popped in, and there's steam. There's sparkle. I'm overwhelmed and hungry. <laughs> Steam and sparkle. I love that, Kelly Planner. You're brilliant. Uh, that's fantastic. So I'm just going to have a little more of this beautiful, thick pasta water, loveys. And then we're going to come close to actually getting our beautiful pasta out of here. I could do it with this. I have all these 
you know, Dr. Lars is upstairs practicing. Mama Lamberti's in Atlanta. So Diva's, Diva's on her own down here. Ah, look at it. There it is, sweetheart. So get your pasta in here, guys, and work it out. Get the pasta in here. You got it. So actually, I may just throw you guys because it might be cuckoo loo. So bear with me. Just make, just bear with me. I'm going to be right there. I have my strainer over the, uh, in the, uh, there we go. Boom, boom. Fabuloso. Here we go, sweet peas. Boom. There it is. It's all there. Look at this. There is this great restaurant store. I'm telling you, I'm just a products everywhere. Thank you, Charlie. Okay, so now here we go, loves. We're going to keep cooking this. Keep cooking this beautiful pasta. And there we go. The kale, the garlic. This is going to be fantastic. Just keep tossing it with the water, with the oil. And you got it. You got it. Just keep tossing it, sweethearts. It's going to be fine. You know, you could put the cheese in now. Put a little more oil on top. Because you can never have enough oil, right, booze? <laughs> oil in the water. Here we go. And I have a beautiful bowl to put this in. And you know what? I may just put a little cheese in. I have some gourmet par gorgeous Parmigiano Reggiano. Look at that. Fabuloso. And I have some beautiful pecorino. So let's just do both, boobies. Let's do a mix of both. You get that beautiful, strong taste of the pecorino. And there we go. I'm gonna get all of this in there, this delicious garlicky, kale goodness. Look at this, guys. Look at this, guys. Oh yeah, you see that? Isn't that fabuloso? Look at that. That is so fantastic, guys. So get all that goodness in there. You can put some lemon zest in this. I think that'd be lovely. You could serve this also with along some sausage links on the side. Keep tossing it, you'll be fine. Keep tossing, that's correct. Just keep tossing it, loveys. Keep tossing it. It's all about the tossing and the pasta water and the tossing. But there it is, boobs. I'm getting it. It's getting there. <laughs> there we go. Hold on. I'm going to be right there. It's going to be right there. Here we go. We have our gorgeous bowl here. Fabulous blue bowl. These are our Bybee, Kentucky Bybee pottery. My favorite. Just love these. My parents got these years ago when I was very young. So we're going to sort of beautifully just Put this in this gorgeous bowl. There's so much kale and cheese on this, it just sort of blooms up. It's just lovely, guys. Look at this booze. Look at this, guys. Gorgeous kale, garlicky pasta. That wow, so good. Yeah, you have to try this, guys. Look at this. Look at this, guys. It's so delicious. Hold on, I'm gonna get it all scraped out of there because. The kale, you know, and the cheese and the oil is all sticking to that lovely gorgeousness as it does. Hold on, loveys. Let me get this up. This is a heavy, heavy pan. Here we go. Use the muscles. Here we go. Here it is, loveys. Boom. <laughs> That's heavy on your left hand. Here we go, loves. Echo. Echo. There it is. Little pan, a little uh, pan... Yeah, pan grata. Yes, I was thinking of that. I was actually going to do breadcrumbs for this. Crunchy breadcrumbs on top. I didn't end up doing it, but I was going to do my lemon brown butter breadcrumbs. I'll have to make those sometime. It's just fresh breadcrumbs. Fresh breadcrumbs. Fresh piece of bread in the... Um, there we go, boobies. Check it out, boobies. Check it out. Look at this. A little, a little bit of olive oil on top for shine. There it is. I, the kitchen's a mess. Do you see it? It's just, it's just everywhere, but I'll clean up later. It's all right. Um, yeah, this is the bowl. This is my bowl. My bowl. Let's make it all look pretty. Here we go. And you know I'm going to try this, and I'm going to try it right out of the big bowl because it's just me and Dr. Lars. So there it is. That's how it's going down. But yes, some breadcrumbs on here would be fabulous. So what you do is you take a piece of fresh white bread, white bread, sort of country bread, Italian bread, put in the food processor, grind it up. I brown it on top of the oven, sort of in a saute pan. I brown butter separately. Then I add them with some lemon zest. I'm telling you, it'll rock your world. So try that with this. I was going to do that tonight. Great idea, Miss Elizabeth, but I didn't. So I thought, I'll just do this one. But I did have an idea of those breadcrumbs. Great idea, sweetheart. Here it is. I'm getting my pork kids. I'm getting the pork kids. There it is. Look, guys, look. Look. Cheesy, kale -y. 
garlicky goodness. Look at this. Let's, let's see how it is. Bon appetito. Oh, wait for it. I love cheese. Wait for it. <laughs> it's probably hot. Here it is. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. That is so good. Even people that don't like kale will love this. So delicious. So delicious, guys. So delicious. A little more of this cheese on top. A little more of pecorino romano because that gives it that beautiful salty sort of a uh, different sort of because it's a sheep's milk cheese. A little bit of a gamey hit. There it is. Hold on, I'm gonna lean on this. It's one of those times you just gotta lean on something because that's what's happening. Yeah, can you almost taste it, guys? Because this is how great it is. Oh yeah, wait for it. And I'm getting some of that beautiful pecorino. I love these kind of sauces. I'm not a big red sauce girl, but these kind, that's it. Hold on, that's a good bite. Wait for it. Oh, gee. Oh, yeah. That's it. The pecorino makes it. So, I'd say do the pecorino almost more than the parm. The parm and the pecorino are beautiful. But if you just want a pecorino, I think it'd be fabulous. It gives it that salty, intense flavor, and it's so good. I just said I wasn't going to eat any. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> Look at this, guys. I know you see it here. Now it's out of focus. There it is. Brava, Ebisignani. <laughs> My story girl, I love you. You're hilarious. Ebisignani was a very fabulous, famous mezzo back in the day. Fabulous. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so fantastic. This is great. This is great, kids. This is fantastic. I have a lot left over. Oh, thank you, dear cousin Elizabeth. I'm handing you a glass of red wine. Wait till you see this little compilation I've put together for you guys. We're editing it still, but it is so funny. I laughed out loud many times. <laughs> it's amazing what editing can do because I do lives. Um, and I, we're, you know, I'm a live theater person. I'm not used to the whole editing process, but it's astounding what editing can do when you sort of put things together and then you put it with music. It, it's so powerful. I was quite astounded by it. You know how that is in the movies when, you know, like would Star Wars be Star Wars or would Raiders of the Lost Ark be Raiders of the Lost Ark without the great scores of John Williams, right? They just, I mean, it's there. If you see it without the music, it's another thing. So this sort of music editing was just a hoot. So I'll try to put it on Facebook, but I think they're gonna take it off. So I am going to send it to each of you individually on Messenger. If, if so, if you see something come through a video from Christina Lamberti in Messenger, that's, that's it, so you can watch it. And I would just love to give it to you because I want everyone to share it with everybody because it's a hoot and he did a brilliant job with it. Peter is just amazing editor, great voice over artist. The next sort of James Earl Jones, you know that Darth Vader, the voice? Yeah, it's that. Fantastic. Um, so there we are, sweet peas. What time is it? Okay, I didn't go poop too cuckoo tonight. So there is our stunning kale, aglio olio with kale and pecorino parmigiano. You want some buttered bread crumbs on top, do it. You want some lemon zest, that would be beautiful and brighten it up a bit, but this is so fantastic, guys. Try this beautiful recipe, try it. I watched it, it was awesome, thank you, Cheryl. I sent it out to a few people before we had a few corrections to make to it, my little compilation video, but it is a hoot. <laughs> it's a hoot nanny. So there it is, sweethearts. So there's our fabulous aglio olio with kale. Delicious, you've gotta try this out, Louise. Try this out, it is so delicious. If your kids don't like kale, they'll like it with this. They'll love it. Gotta have one more bite. I have to. I did like almost 10,000 steps today, it's okay. So there we are, my loves. It's always an honor to be here with you. I'm really looking forward to the new year and what we're going to be doing with videos. And I'm really going to try.
try to promote this on Patreon and my YouTube channel because I want it to explode. I want to be out there, like, you know, with a million views, yes. But in order to do that, I've got to make YouTube videos as well. So I'm sort of trying to change it up and see what I can do. Even though my favorite thing is to just interact with you guys on Facebook Live. That's my thing, because I love an audience. That's it. But I'm going to try a different, few different things out. I'm still going to do my lives, come in and do those, because that's where we just have the most fun. And it's great. And if you want to see something, let me know if you want to see something. Certain recipes with hearts. Mama Lamberti will be back. Dr. Loris will be back. The cats are here, but they're all sleeping. It's cold, you know. It's going to be cold tomorrow. They're all sleeping. So they haven't run on by. I know Peter was like, are there any bloopers do you have? And I thought, hmm, bloopers. You know, like where the cat falls into the sauce or the sauce falls on my head or something like that. And I was like, mm. Didn't see a lot of, there were not tons of bloopers. Not tons. So that's what we did. I put this other thing together. So I think it's very fun. It's going to be fun. <laughs> it's going to be great. So there we are, my loves. I hope you're all well. And um, those of you I know they're a little bit under the weather. Please stay safe, stay put for now, stay cooking, all right? Have a beautiful, beautiful holiday with all your beautiful families around you. And I will be in later this week, and then when we go to Atlanta, I'll be doing a live from there. Yes, I will be. Yes, I will be. Um, and then I'm also going to be sending out some nice videos to you guys as well, sweethearts. So thank you so much for being there. Um, if you want information about my Patreon account, that's a fabulous platform that you can support artists who do videos and music such as myself for as little as three dollars a day that's it and i have some great patreon subscribers and they're getting some fabulous little things at the holidays i'm going to be sending out some beautiful cards and uh, dr lars and i are putting together a music video for my patreon subscribers uh, i love and miss you too sissy so we're going to be having a few uh christmas tunes some holiday tunes on there one of my favorites, I posted it today, uh, was my beautiful Judy Garland singing uh, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. Um, hi, Abby. How are you, sweetheart? Thank you, Abby. You're gorgeous. Love you. Thank you, sweetheart. My lime life, lime light, lime life. It's not lime light anymore. It's my lime life cosmetics. I sell those too. I'm just one big business. That's what I do. So uh, one big just commercial enterprise, that's FIFA. Hi, Lars Ola. How are you? How are you, dear? Nice to see you from Denmark. It's late there, but thank you for joining us. I appreciate that, Lars. Thank you so much, love. So there we are, sweethearts. Have a beautiful, beautiful night, and I look forward to seeing you later this week. I'm going to have my 12 days of Christmas. I'm working on these videos. Oh, my goodness. And uh, see what we come up with, and I'm going to get some fabulous snow footage. So stay safe. We have a big snowstorm, but it'll be fun, right? So love you all. Take care, and... See you soon. Okay, ciao, ciao, ciao.